Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holger Tuck and we are playing Hearts of Iron 4 on veteran difficulty as the Germans. Welcome back. In the last episode we attacked Turkey over here. Uh, we're also doing our best to push back against um, the, the UK invasion over here. And since I actually moved some proper German infantry divisions over here, things are actually looking up and we're winning. Which is good. Uh, we're building up our Mediterranean fleet to finally counter that, that UK fleet over here. And the French fleet as well, uh, which is kind of annoying. I guess I should take that out. Um, we are moving towards building some uh, some Desert Fox um, divisions to actually go against, um, go against Africa and the Middle East and all that. Um, those are coming along. We're just missing some Leopard A's and some improved artillery. So that's, that's going to happen at some point. Uh, we're still fighting over here. We are basically in Stockholm. We just have to remove that one that one division. Yeah, we are actually moving another Panzer division um, near there. Now let's have a look at that. France lost two more convoys. That's fine by me. I really would like this to end, but I guess... Um, how long has this been? About two to three months. I shouldn't be too impatient. It's actually it's actually all right. Now, one of the things that I want to do, um, yeah, we're researching that um, that naval bomber, and we actually have to to get a good amount of um, good amount of naval bombers. I would like to get that one as well, but it's going to take a long time. Hmm. Okay, these guys need more manpower. No, that's weird. New engine technology and aerodynamically refined designs will boost the speed and diving attack capabilities. I guess we have to stick with, with these guys, um, at least for now. I really want to use some naval bombers. We, we need to start... Um, bombing those British fleets and actually curbing their naval power and... Um, for that, we're going to go after China over here. Now, what I'm going to do is we are going to put the first Panzer army onto the Asian theater so that I have all of these guys um, at one glance. This is the Pacific Corps. We might actually be able to send some troops of the Pacific Corps um, to the um, China Corps over there. I think that might be a good idea. It's, it's a lot of units over here that we don't really need. So, two, four, six, seven, eight. If I take these eight units and I give them to the China core, we might actually look a bit better. And we have two, um, two things with 20 divisions and then I'm gonna assign them I'm gonna assign them to those orders. Now, how's that working? We've got eight. We've got fourteen. Oh, something. Something's not right. Twenty divisions over here, and then they are splitting between eight and twelve. I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. I guess that's all right. Um, yeah, so let them let them move there. They're gonna you know, redeploy, which is all right. Uh, it, the chance that they are invading in this area is actually kind of low. They won't really have the supply limit to to go there. We are fighting Turkey, and we're actually making inroads over there. Um, Turkish troops are moving down to Syria. We've still got 15, 15 British divisions in there. Um, some naval battles. No, battle results over here. Destroy two more convoys. I like it. Why not? Destroy them. Oh yeah, we got these military factories. So, got a bunch of them left over. What to do? What to do? Um, no, that's 
let me have a look. Yeah, we're, we're doing really well at um, repairing all those factories. That makes me incredibly happy. So we're actually getting somewhere now. Um, what else? I think, I think I'm gonna go with the naval bomber. I think I'm gonna go with that. Um, so let's go for another another line of naval bombers. I'm gonna push you up a little bit over here. Yeah, the tactical bombers. Yeah, we're not using too many of them. Yeah, we can go with a little bit of upgrade need, but naval bombers is what I want. I actually, I really do need them. Um, how are the casualties? Yeah, we we lost a good amount now. Um, Sweden 300,000, Portugal 300,000, Norway 600, um, UK 1.2, France 1.3. We're still alright um, with the casualties, but we are getting low on manpower. And there is the risk of overstretching ourselves. So, there's that. This is. This is some costly stuff. It would be way easier to actually just stop them from invading. Um, is what I think. But yeah, it's not really happening. Yeah, this is this is looking real good. We're already through with the um, with dedicating stacks to repairing the, the the factories. We're already moving on to the infrastructure. That's great. I mean, we do have some some destroyed factories over here, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let it run now. Uh, these guys lost more convoys. We're fending off. Ooh, oh man, how did that happen? Come on, really? Holy crap! That is. That is a huge fleet. <laughs> and they're just attacking some of my convoys. I'm gonna take away their naval bases. They're gonna have a, a, a bad time trying to go after them. We lost three convoys. That's unnice. Fighting over here. At least we're making progress. We're still making progress. How's the resistance? Oh, still some resistance hotspots. Why is there absolutely no unit in Warsaw? Oh, because I didn't tell them to. I guess I had the the SS um, Verfügungstruppe in there. So that was really needed. We're moving on Stockholm again. Let's just hope that we can do it now. Yeah, this is going fairly well. Terrain isn't great and that we're attacking at night isn't great either. Um, Greece wants an expeditionary force, non-aggression, I don't care about that, insufficient resources, you still huge amount of rubber, some oil. I mean, if I were to deploy, if I were to deploy some naval bombers, do we actually have some of them at least? Do we have some of them? Yeah, we have 11 naval bombers. Should I start deploying them? Uh, it's not really enough. I'd like to at least have a couple more. Mm, and we also really need to start defending these regions. At least we got the air superiority in those um, areas that we uh, care about. <laughs> How's that looking? Yeah, they have they have about uh, 300 close air support. That's not good. We're, I think we're bombing their infrastructure over here. I mean, I could start bombing southern England, but it's not really it's not really worth it. They're gonna shoot down our bombers anyway. This is going forward fine. We still got more free military factories. That are not doing anything. Okay then, what to do with you? And we're getting to the end of the dockyards as well. So let me actually start. Uh, 
Still waiting on the destroyer 1944. We might as well start with building some Narvik destroyers. Um, at least for now. So let's go with that. Let's go for some Narviks. Basically, if you're done with the others, then get to the destroyers. And we definitely want to send the destroyers to the Ostsee Flotte. Although that is no longer true, actually, Ostsee Flotte. It's not really that. It is more like, what should we call them? Mm. Reichsmarine. Ah, Reichsflotte is better. Okay, Reichsflotte. That's fine. And they're gonna be, <clears throat> they're gonna be deployed to them. That's that's all right. Not sure if we're actually doing ourselves a favor by basing that fleet from there. I think I maybe should I change the um, the base of theirs from Ostpreußen to one of those ports. That's a level one naval base. That's a level four. That's a level six. What are the others based out of? I just have to, to choose a naval base where they can't bombard me. So that's Eastern Germany. That's a level four naval base. I think we're gonna take that one, Stettin. Um, so... Mm, how does that work? Control and right click. Can't do that, I guess, because they are in battle. Sweden has capitulated. Perfect. That makes me happy. Very good. Okay, so Sweden is done now. Got the Swedish fleet out here. Um, and these tanks have been automatically redeploying over here. That's fine, I guess. Yeah. That's fine. Let's go for it. Um, that is coming along okay-ish. I'm gonna get kind of a bigger front line over there. We do have to start um, putting some repression um, groups in there. Maybe I should just split um, the third police corps. Or maybe not. At least we're pushing that back. I'm gonna push them back into the sea. <clears throat> Got some more naval raids. Okay, so now those fleets are no longer engaged, so I can actually change their, um, their harbor. Ostpreußen is also not great, but this should actually allow them to be a bit faster. So, yeah. Now they are in Pommern, but they should be safe from any port strikes, I hope. Mm, I wonder if these are ours. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. We should see our own planes down here. Yeah, the ones with the crosses are ours. Mm, that's their fleet. Only two divisions left. What are they doing? So they, those two fleets are fighting. I do think that the submarines look kind of nice. Twenty submarines. Really? Yeah, we're building these guys really fast. On the other hand, we we really should, because we do have a, a very big land. <clears throat> some more battle results. Sank some convoys. Sank some convoys. Sank some convoys. Man, we will be... We'll have sunk all the convoys that the Allies have at some point. 
Let's take out the resistance. Insufficient resources. Um, no. Looking over to Asia. You guys have actually moved there, right? No, some of them haven't yet. And they also need to prepare, I guess. So the... Um, well, maybe I should give the China call my um, my guy over here, Fedor von Bock. I mean, he's kind of earned it. And he is, I think, the best commander that we can bring to the table. So that's all right. Um, now, as for the planning bonus. These guys all have the planning bonus. These guys haven't. So we're going to wait until they have it. Um, do we already have a war goal? No. So we actually need to um, try to get a war goal. Yeah, they're even further away from from giving us military access. There's just no way they they are gonna do it. So we we might as well. So let's start with yeah, whatever, whatever. More convoys sunken. Yeah, these kinds of easy targets, uh, we won't have too many of them in the future. I'm looking forward to taking away the naval bases all along that all along that coast. Italy is actually going to be a problem for our expansion down there, so I've got to remove them at some point. Oh, there are some some Turkish convoys. Well, they they made the bed and now they have to lie in it. What I would like to do, uh, maybe not now, I would like to do some invasions of uh, Gotland and Orland. Got to do that with their separate armies though, I guess. Uh, yeah, well, Adolf Hitler questions the motives of China. Yeah, indeed, I do question them as well. <laughs> Nothing is coming of uh, uh, out of these battles. We haven't sunk a single one. We got colonial. Yeah, these are colonial troops. At least we're we're nearly done here, fighting these guys back. Mm, some more raiding results. Some more convoys. We're really, really doing some work now with the sea wolves. Just don't dare to send them into the channel because they're gonna get sunk by the channel fleet. Which is bad. Do we actually have any sort of national focus that we could use now? I mean, we're pretty much through now. Um, uh, unless I want to go with the alliance with Italy, which I'm not really sure I want. I think I'm through. I researched all these things. I can't improve the national spirit because I... Mm. Because I actually don't have the um, uh, the Greater London er uh, area. We do have the Ile de France. It says that is all right. We must control London and Paris and the states they reside in. Yeah, that's that's not gonna happen yet. But we're getting there, we're getting there. The, the point is um, the United Kingdom is a fortress that is going to be difficult to, to actually take. They are armored with a lot of naval power. Now we have to strip away that armor. Oh, we're getting there. Do have a lot of production power now. A lot of medium tanks too. I might actually go for one more production line of light tanks. But before we do that, yeah, these guys still need still need more production efficiency. Got the fighter three. How's the research going? Oh, and I have, I'm actually having some, some frame rate drops. That's interesting. Don't normally see that. 
with um, I'm recording with Shadow Play, and that is actually very easy on the um, on the hardware side because it does everything via the GPU as compared to, uh, for example, Fraps, which uses a lot of processing power. We're still losing manpower. But as soon as we're done with the Scandinavian states, we basically have all of Europe except for those islands. And we will have to defend Scandinavia as well. It shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, so we're done with uh, the justification for, justification for conquering Huang Hai. I'm, I'm sure I don't say that right. But we do have our justification for war against China. So I'm actually gonna, gonna end it here. I'm just gonna look at those two things. So we sank two Norwegian convoys. We sank two... I, that's not New Zealand. Australian, I guess. Sank three Australian convoys. No results down here. But yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you did, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.